Question 279. Why do we need faith and the sacraments in order to live a good, upright life? If we were only to rely on ourselves and our own strength, we would not get far in our attempts to be good. Through faith, we discover that we are God's children and that God makes us strong. When God gives us his strength, we call this grace. Especially in the sacred signs that we call the sacraments. God gives us the ability, actually, to do the good that we want to do. Since God saw our misery, He delivered us from the dominion of darkness. Colossians chapter 1, verse 13 Through His Son, Jesus Christ He granted us the opportunity to make a new start in fellowship with Him and to walk the path of love. Question 280. What reasons do Christians give for human dignity? Every person, from the first moment of his life in the womb, has an inviolable dignity. Because, from all eternity, God willed, loved, created, and redeemed that person and destined him for eternal happiness. If human dignity were based solely on the successes and accomplishments of individuals, then those who are weak, sick, or helpless would have no dignity. Christians believe that human dignity is, in the first place, the result of God's respect for us. He looks at every person and loves him as though he were the only creature in the world. Because God has looked upon even the least significant child of Adam, that person possesses an infinite worth which must not be destroyed by men. Question 281. Why do we yearn for happiness? God has placed in our hearts such an infinite desire for happiness that nothing can satisfy it but God himself. All earthly fulfillment gives us only a foretaste of eternal happiness. Above and beyond that, we should be drawn to God. Blaise Pascal, a 17th century Catholic theologian and expert mathematician, physicist, writer, and philosopher, said, Happiness is not in us. 
nor is happiness outside of us. Happiness is in God alone, and if we have found him, then it is everywhere. Question 282. Does sacred scripture speak about a way to happiness? We become happy by trusting in Jesus' words in the Beatitudes. The gospel is a promise of happiness to all people who wish to walk in God's ways. Especially in the Beatitudes, Matthew chapter 5, verse 3 through 12, Jesus has told us specifically that eternal blessedness, blessing, is based on our following his example in seeking peace with a pure heart. If you want an example of a person who followed the Beatitudes well, learn about blessed Pier Giorgio Frassati. He was called a man of the Beatitudes, and was definitely one who found great joy and fun in life because he walked in God's ways. Hello, I'm Father Sean Carey, and this is my name sign. I'm from the Archdiocese of Boston, Massachusetts. Thank you for watching. See you next week.